My name is uh, Lieutenant John Forster. I'm the commanding officer of the Coast Guard Cutter Sturgeon Bay. Uh, the crew size is 18. We have uh, three officers and uh, about 15 enlisted at a given time. Uh, that's uh, a lieutenant, a lieutenant junior grade, and uh, a warrant officer. Uh, and then we have two chiefs and uh, a variety of other enlisted rates and ranks. So currently the Sturgeon Bay is engaged in Operation Reliable Energy for Northeast Winters, or Opera New. It is the Coast Guard's region-wide effort to ensure Northeast communities have the security, supplies, energy, and emergency resources they need throughout the winter. Uh, the historic temperatures that we're experiencing right now has produced uh, ice as thick as uh, one, one foot in some areas. And on a day-to-day -day basis, we're uh, escorting uh, these commercial vessels carrying uh, goods and supplies and home heating oil uh, to various ports along the Hudson. And uh, we're helping assist them if they get uh, set in the ice and are unable to move at all. And we're also clearing the path for them uh, along this waterway as they're trying to trans up and down the river. Most days we've been uh, getting underway uh, just after dawn and then pulling back in uh, right around sunset. So we're uh, supposed to only operate normally during uh, daylight hours. And that way we uh, reduce some of the risk of operating the ice uh, by not doing it at night. Uh, oftentimes we uh, work for 12 plus hours even after we've pulled in uh, just so that we can uh, get everything squared away on the ship before uh, securing for the day. So we're breaking these track lines along the Hudson in order to uh, allow commerce and uh, barges that are pushing ahead, are being pushed ahead by commercial tugs, uh, and as well as deep draft vessels that are uh, moving resources and supplies uh, up and down the Hudson River. And the uh, a lot of the cargo that's coming up and down the Hudson right now is home heating oil. And that's vitally important for such a cold winter as we're experiencing right now to the homes throughout New England and the rest of the Northeast region. I'm Chief Postmate Michael Hall, stationed on the Coast Guard Cutter Sturgeon Bay, home ported in beautiful Bayonne, New Jersey. Been aboard for about a year and a half. Uh, the past year we just went through uh, year-long dry docks and not a lot of underway time. It's my first uh, actual ice season underway. Uh, the 140 icebreakers at this vessel is called the uh, Bay Class Icebreaker Harp Tug. They're uh, uniquely designed to break heavy ice. Uh, we can break up to 28 inches continuous steaming, 3 feet backing and ramming, and there are certain aspects about the hull design, hull design that make this uh, possible. We have heavier plating on the bow and along the keel. The bow shape is a bit more rounded than most vessels to allow us the ice to kind of slide underneath. Uh, we also have frames of the ship that strengthen the hull uh, a little bit closer together than most ships. And we have an ice belt, which is a basically a hull plating around the water line that is thicker to prevent the ice pressure from uh, causing damage to the hull. Uh, propulsion is generated by two massive electric diesel generators that power a 2,500 horsepower electric motor. So we have uh, good horsepower to ratio, we can go from full ahead to full astern as fast as we need to. We also have this box here which is called the bubbler. Uh, it's a system, uh, basically an air compressor that shoots bubbles out underneath the hull. Uh, we can direct this from either the port side or the starboard side or all around the ship. And what that does is the bubbles come up underneath the uh, hull and kind of reduce the friction between the hull and the ice to allow us to get through better. My name is Nicholas Trevelli. I'm an electrician's mate, uh, third class petty officer. I'm on board Coast Guard Charter Surgeon Bay. I'm out here in ECC, Engineering Control Center. So, uh, here with the switchboard, we have our pulsing generators and uh, the main motor and diesel engines that keep the shaft turning, uh, keep us breaking ice. So, we have a bunch of alarms and gauges and all on this panel that. Let us know that everything's working in parameters and everything's safe.